Namaskar. Vanakam, Sastriya Kaul, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Today we're going to watch a clip from Hindustani Times. Mm -hmm. um, India and Chinese troops disengage um, from the lake in Ladakh. So finally, finally the Chinese troops are going back, India troops are going back, and the line of control um, seems to have become the new border again. Right. Which it's is... How yeah, it it's definitely be. getting better. Yeah. I think China expected India to back off. Yeah, and India didn't. India no. was not going to back off from that border. Not at all. The lion no. doesn't back down. And I think, um, I don't know what they expected to gain from this, but... I don't um, know why they started it in the first place. Because they didn't, they lost more than they gained. So... Yeah. They lost a lot of trust, respect, and a lot of other things, so I don't and know. And soldiers, which they right. finally finally came out and said they've lost some soldiers. But I'm glad to see both sides are, are backing back to the LAC, LOC, LOC, line of control, um, and, and going to, you know, start the process of talking through new negotiations and um, things like that. I just think... We know the Chinese have backed off before and then pop tents up in different places. So right. I, I don't think India should be backing off so much and think that, oh, China's backing off. We should just completely back off. I think they should still stay close to that border because you mm -hmm. know they're going to come back. They are going to come back. They're going to come yeah. back. Keep it strong, boys. Keep it strong. I think that border has to stay as tight as it has these last few months. I know it's been like a stare down, um, but I, I don't think you want to back off, like you said, too much. Right, because um, then they're going to come right back and say, this is our land. Mm -hmm. Like, as soon as they came back the first time, that's right. not going to stop. Yeah. And it, it's not old times anymore. We can see satellite images. We know who... Right. We know what's happening. We know what's going down at the border. We know the real news from the fake news. Yes. Yes, the, the news that goes around the world that is oh, freedom of press as opposed to um, government um, press. But right. we're going to watch this uh, little clip from Hindustan Times. So let's start it up. Yes, I mean, it's good. I'm glad both sides are kind of coming back to line of control. Right, but it's still kind of wary of who's there and who's on the other side. Right. Border. I mean, you can't Tight. keep those tanks still there, keep their, mm -hmm. the fire jets still there. Like, you, you can't just... Because... You can't trust them, because as soon as you trust them, they're going to undo your trust right away. Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this was good to see, that both sides right. are... You know, getting back to line of control. Hopefully, you know, some negotiations, things will kind of calm down. And hopefully they stay calm. Like I said, I don't want to see India back off at all because we've seen China sneak back. Right. India should not back down at all. Like, I understand you're trying to create a little peace between what's going on and between the border. But, like, you should not back down. You can back away, but don't back down your forces completely mm -hmm. because you know they're going to come slithering back. Yeah, keep it tight. Uh, yeah. I mean, they finally, you know, after the 20 soldiers died in India, Modi went, um, you know, up there. He paid his respects. They did this beautiful memorial service. Um, you know, people around the area were mourning. They got to say goodbye to their loved ones. China has finally, after seven months ago, yeah. said that, oh, we did have a few casualties. And now they released a video on um, what really happened because, you know, the Indian hyped the casualties, distorted the truth, and tried to mislead the international community to defame the Chinese military. This is what the Global Times is posting. And right. this video will be interesting to watch and see what the Chinese believe. What, I shouldn't say the Chinese. I'm gonna say the CCP believes that the Chinese people need to know and understand. And this is what they're posting outside. You can see, you can read it here, you can read it everywhere. This is basically the only thing I bet you they'll post to their people. 
the only thing that their people will see. They're not going to see what we post or what other no. people, what the actual truth is. They're going to see this video. Right. Because the CCP controls the government. They right. control the media. It's not freedom of press. You know, they talk about, you know, India was trying to mislead the communities. But the U.S. satellite images were sent to India to let them know that China had crossed the border. That is how India found out. Right. It's not... So the world knows what really happened. Mm -hmm. This is China trying to finally say, like, oh, oh, we did have casualties. Yeah, let's watch it and see, Anji. Yeah. Are you sure that's a Indian, Indian tent? Yeah. Because we know China put their tents across the border. The worst part is this is what the Chinese people are seeing. This is, this is the only thing the people right. in China are seeing. Do you see the Indian soldier and the Chinese soldier, the difference? Right. This is complete and utter lies. I mean, yeah. the world, India wasn't the only one that was putting news out about this happening. Right. A lot of people have already put news about it, but the problem is the Chinese people can't see it. So this is the only thing. The only thing. That they can see, and what goes through their head is probably like, oh, this is what really happened. Indians are crossing our border, so we had to do what was right to protect them. Right. That's not what really happened at the border. That's no. This is not at all what happened. There is not any truth in this. So... No. And you can see it in some of the pictures, like the Indian soldiers are just standing there um, and the other, the Chinese soldiers are yelling. You know, you can tell that there. this is not, this is such propaganda. This is what right. the government, um, you know, wants the people to believe that India started it. India is the troublemaker. They came with sticks when we know that that wasn't true. Right. For one, U.S. satellite images were the ones that said China had crossed the border first. They sent it to India to let them know, like, China's crossed the line of control. Mm -hmm. So that's... They, they've done better. It said at the, the top of this article, which I thought was interesting, China finally reveals the truth of Gullivan Valley clash after a half of a year, showing the country as a lion with wisdom and kindness. I don't... I have not seen anything that comes from China, out of China, as uh, wisdom and or kindness. Right. They haven't let anybody in to investigate for the virus. They're shutting people out. People are disappearing when they tweet stuff. I, I noticed that this is on Facebook and Twitter. None of which the people get. So what is the point of putting it on there? So everybody else can read their propaganda right. and tweet it if they want. But the people in China do not have access to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Weon, now do not BBC. Have ask us to anything that's the truth. Right. We'll say that. Freedom. Yeah. yeah, freedom of press. People to be able to say, like, he, people here, like you said before, we don't always agree with the government. We don't always agree with what's going on. This is our way. Government's not perfect, but it's not a dictatorship yeah it's really not that time anymore you know like it's not the time of expansionism that's what modi had said like you can't just go and take over somebody's land anymore right there's too many satellite images drones and and the news around the world mainly is freedom of press right that's what we have but that's not what chinese people have and it's funny how they put Facebook and Twitter on their own thing, but their own people can't even use that. No, not at all. They can't speak out. We've seen it before with the virus. You say anything, you either right. disappear or nobody sees from you or hears from you again. That's yeah. definitely, um, you know. And it's seven months before they finally, you know, reveal the truth. It took seven months to make that video is what they did. To figure out what to say, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. they wanted it. This is definitely propaganda. This is definitely, like, you know, they're talking about they wanted the world to hear the, the truth. But the world has heard the truth because there were so many different medias covering it. 
so many different satellite images came in saying China was the one that crossed the border first. Right. You know, it... And then they're saying India's the one who's lying. India's the one who's putting out these fake news. This is what is the fake news. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And what is China gaining from this? What did they gain from this? I said this in the beginning. They've lost more than they've gained. They've They've lost their trust in a lot of things. And they haven't gained anything from it. No, it's not 1960 anymore. India didn't back down. They're not going to back down. You know, this is not the time to be starting a war or thinking you can just encroach until people say, oh, okay, you can have that piece of land now because you're already there. Yeah, that's not going to happen. No, it's not time for that anymore. And yeah, like you said, they've lost trust, not only with the virus, but with this, like the world is not looking positively on China and the Chinese people. And we've always said on here, we don't, we feel bad for the Chinese people that aren't able to speak out or, or feel like they can say the truth. Um, Right. And the thing is, China's not doing anything to correct their mistake. No, that's not what they're doing. They're making a business off of masks. They're, yeah. It's Yeah, they're trying to profit or take, I don't know, they thought maybe the world would be too busy worrying about the virus so they could just encroach on other people's territories and take over the world. Like, this is not what a world leader is. You don't lie to your people for seven months. You don't, you know... There needs to be democracy. There needs to be freedom of speech. People need to elect the president. Like, there needs to be checks and balances. You can't have somebody just saying like this is what they want you to think you know right and this is yeah crazy and like we said china didn't gain they didn't gain land from this they didn't gain respect from this and they're trying to be the leader of the world you know they're one of the top five that hold that un seat this is not showing good leadership finally they've backed off you know finally they're they're getting back to where the line of control hopefully will be the border again um I just don't know how long it will last. Right. Who knows if they'll keep that. Yeah. Um, but we know the the India will keep its borders tight. We know Modi. Right. So hopefully, um, hopefully you guys liked our reaction to this. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful growing Jan family. And check out our other two channels, uh, Jan Family German Shepherds. And Jan Family DIY. And I'll put the links below. But they're on our homepage. They're on our channel page. Um, and I'll try to add some other videos too. So, um, if you don't see a video here, um, check out those other two channels and, uh, you'll hopefully see our family. So hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye.